What's up guys, Scott Martin here, Scott Martin Challenge. We're here in Branson, Missouri, right in the heart of the Ozarks at one of my favorite places in the world, Big Cedar Lodge. Look at this place around me. This place is amazing. We're gonna be fishing on Bull Shoals Lake today, a little tips and technique show for you, but there is always a challenge. And my challenger today is my longtime friend and traveling roommate on the FLW Tour, Tom Reddington. This guy, he knows how to fish deep. You better watch out, Tom, I'm coming for you. Tell you what, that little crankbait right there might smash a yeah. lot, dude. Yeah, that's the right day for it's it. It's got like a whole school of little bait fish inside of it. All right, here comes Eric E Dog right. Oliverson. <laughs> that's E Dog. You know E Dog, right? Oh, yeah. What's up, dude? What's going on, Scott? Oh, man, not much, dude. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. in your neck man. of the woods. Good to see you again. Oh, good to see you, man. You remember Tom, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, What's uh, happening, Tom? Great to see you. Good to see you. Eric is uh, Eric's going to give us a little advice today on on, uh, on fishing on Bull Shoals. You know, he's he's a fantastic guide up here in the Ozarks, fishes Table Rock, all these lakes around here. Obviously, we, we met him on tour, and he's done good out there, too. So he's going to give us a few pointers. I think we're going to need them. All right, I brought a map. Hopefully, you'll be able to show us a few things, man. Sure. Man, I like this. Oh, this is sweet, dude. This is uh, keeps everything all good and organized. I mean, these drawers come out, keep all your stuff. And here on the road, it's real important. It's got so. a trophy in there. Oh, yeah. I like so that. I got the map. Here's a little uh, gift for you, man. Appreciate cool. you coming out. Thank right. you. I love fishing in the fall. And here in the Ozarks in the Branson area, the fishing is fantastic. You have three lakes to choose from, Table Rock Lake, Lake Tanicomo, and what we're going to fish today is Bull Shoals Lake. All three of these lakes are world-class fisheries that you have a chance to catch big smallmouth, big largemouth, and even big spotted bass. Tom's fishes up here all the time. He You've come up here the last several years and fished Table Rock. Yeah, Branson is awesome. This whole area, you get the fall colors, the fishing's awesome, the big fish come to play this time of year. I mean, it's a great place to bring the family, Absolutely. fish, and have I fun. I love it up here. We're yeah. staying in Big Cedar Lodge. I mean, how cool is Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s cabin? <laughs> yeah. We're right here on the shores of, of Table Rock. And this place, Johnny did a fantastic job Five with this deal. It's awesome. So that's what we'll do, man. We'll launch here. I know you're going to be on the water today fishing. We'll, we'll check in with you. And I uh, appreciate the tips. We've got all of our stuff ready to go. Tom, here's the deal. And in every show, all right, there's a challenge. Now, this show is all about showing the viewer at home, you know, how to kind of approach a new body of water. But the challenge is this. Big fish between you and I is going gonna, is gonna to win, and the winner gets to choose the other angler's favorite bait. You're going to have to autograph it, dude. That's what and I'm I, saying. I know exactly which one of yours I want, and I'm not giving up Lucky, so i got to win this <laughs> one. Which one. I'm getting from Tom, yeah. and I'm going to use it against you on the tour next you year. I'm going to pull up and you jack would. like a five under his boat, dude. Hey, I'll meet you at the ramp. All right, sounds All right, good. Let's get out of here, dude. Let's get on the All water. Right. See you, man. Good All luck. Right. You're gonna need it. Yeah. Hey, today's show is about how to catch fish on Highland Reservoirs, how to catch them here on Bull Shoals. But what I really want to show you, what I really want to show you, is how to beat Scott Martin. I'm bringing it, Scott. You better catch him. It rained heavy on the way over here. It, rain, it drains off in the back of those creeks, give a little color, and those fish will just migrate to the back of that creek and feed like crazy. And I, I remember stories of my dad talking about, you know, in tournaments and stuff this time of the year, uh, and even in the spring, when it rains like that, they just abandon everything they've been doing and run to the back of every creek that has a drain and just smash big giant bags. This is fun, because that's like we used to do. Neither of us have fished this lake before. This section, we've never seen yeah. this water, and it's that sense of exploration. First yeah. time ever, and just come along and see what happens. The weather up here in the Ozark is always changing, especially in the fall. So for us to catch good fish, and especially for me to beat Tom, we're gonna have to make some serious adjustments out there. I got a big one. I got a big one. Watch out. Watch out. Coming through. You coming want me to live Coming through. Coming through. Oh, dude, he's about to jump. He's about to jump. He's diving on me. Help me out, dude. Hold on. I'm gonna swing him in. Yeah! Woo! Sunny. I got a sunny. Hey, it's Ed. No live bait. Come on. Oh, really? Mine's bigger. You got a big one? Oh, I've got a... Oh. Double sunny? It's, Are you serious, It's dude? a sunfish challenge today on the Scott Martin Sunfish Challenge. I think I got you. Woo, look at that. I'm saying I'm going to give it to you. I'm winning. I'm going to give it to I'm you. I'm in the lead. I mean, this rain is getting to me, dude. It's getting to me. I'm going to break out. I've been working on something, Tom. I've been working on something. It's top secret, dude. I've, I've got, I have patents for it and everything, so you cannot steal my idea. I'm not kidding. I, I got to put it on. This is top secret stuff, dude. <laughs> 
and, and I didn't bring you one. I'm sorry, because I've only had one. It's the prototype model. I mean, how sweet is this? <laughs> it's perfect. This isn't just some regular umbrella, dude. This is XT2000. I mean, you see my signature on it. This is Pro Series. Oh, I see. A lot now, of people yeah. would think this is just a regular umbrella, but this is not a regular umbrella. XT2000. Now dude. it makes way more sense now. Oh, way more. What's the XT stand for? Extra tough. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh, oh, yeah. Got him. I got one. Heard I you. got one. Uh, oh, I got a bass, oh. dude. It's a big one. XT2000, baby. That's what I'm talking about. My boat swinging, Tom. Watch out. Boat swinging him. Don't get him caught. XT2000. See? <laughs> well, you catch more fish when you're not wet like this. See, I'm very focused because I'm not having to deal with the rain and the itchy face thing. When I get some more of these XT2000s, I will, you'll be the first one to get one. I'll even put you on the pro staff. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook, Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time, and by Evanrude, introducing the all new Evanrude E Tech G2. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Okuma Fishing Tackle. There's no stopping Okuma. Professional grade hydration by Squincher. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Is your engine running a little rough or are you still dealing with those ethanol issues like we all are? Well, be sure to stop in your local Bass Pro Shops as they have a wide selection of fuel treatment systems, just like the Startron Enzyme Fuel Treatment. This stuff works great on all motors and it'll get you running fast on the water. There's no one following him. See him down? Yeah, look at him. A whole bunch of them. Hee hee. Not big. But you know, that's uh. Interesting, you know, it's a cloudy day. You'd think these fish would be on the banks, and I'm sure that there are a lot of fish on the banks. And that fish is a tournament fish, but there are fish out here in the middle of these these grains. Tom, Tom, look at those fish out there breaking. Oh, yeah, dude. They're they're busting, they're, they've got them wadded up back here in the bass. Maybe that's why they're not biting on the banks right now. But look, a big pot of bait right there, and a big pot of bait right oh, there. Yeah. Oh, they're slashing. Yeah, they're it, good when they get out there. Oh, get ready. We've got a break in the weather. <laughs> a break in the weather. Come on, Rain, hold off for just a minute more. We're going down the bank, and I see exactly what I've been looking for. You catch that fish. You better watch out, Tom. And what I have here in my hand is a little tiny swim bait on a little eighth ounce jig head. And uh, that's a great little bait for what we're doing right here. We did not catch a fish on this thing, but I promise you guys, a little swim bait like that, a little three inch, three and a half inch little swim bait on a little jig head like that, rigged up on light lines. The, t the trick and the tip on this is fishing it on say eight or ten pound P line fluorocarbon. Uh, that is very important. If you throw it on a real heavy line, you just don't get the bites for some reason. Got it rigged up on a TCS Akuma Helios reel. And here's the thing that I love the best about this setup. This is a seven foot eleven inch, okay? Power crank rod. I use it for cranking, but it's a wonderful little swim bait rod. It's got a perfect soft tip, a lot of backbone, so it casts far. And uh, when you get those fish hooked up, they stay buttoned up. Like at the Forest Wood Cup this year, I caught a lot of fish on little swim baits and little underspins, and I've caught them on this rod because that extra long rod allows you to make that little bit farther cast, and on schooling fish, that's important. The accommodations here in Branson are endless. You can imagine all kind of different hotels to choose from. And then again, here are the resorts around the lake, like Big Cedar Lodge. The accommodations are unbelievable. Cabins right here on the lake. You can stay in the lodge like here, right here behind me. They have a beautiful spa. There are so many different things to do for your entire family. This is an incredible place. Nice fish, dude. Deep, you know, way down Yeah, you're gonna swing him in. I got him, I think I got I'm him. Swing this way. got a 12 pound pea line. I think we're all right. Ooh, a spot. Oh, a nice spot. spot yeah. Come on up, bud. Nice. <laughs> Woo! That's pretty cool, dude. 35 feet on the jig. I know, that's crazy. Hey, Scott's a great fisherman. We're really good friends. The thing is, he's super competitive. If I can get a lead early, I think I can get ahead, get in his head a little bit, gonna make it hard on him. The tip is there, the jig you can fish in so many ways. They they can replicate crawdads, replicate shad right. even too. Some days you just want to drag them, some days you want to shake them in place, kind of what I was doing there. Other days, 
I mean, you can really stroke these. Like, if you want to talk to you, can hop them. I mean, you can do anything to them. But nice fish. Nice big old. Not a real big one, but a nice fish. Yeah. All right, dude. Here you let him go. Huh? All right. Nice. So the tip is, if you're not catching fish in one spot, move. Find activity. That's the t in the fall. You want to find bait fish. You find bait fish. You're going to catch fish. Oh yeah. All right, dude. Let's get another one. Closed captioning for the SMC provided by Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. Check us out at angle-usa.com for more information and a chance to win an Angle Cooler dry box. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by StarTron. StarTron enzyme fuel treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. And by P-Line, delivering the leading edge of quality high performance fishing line. With Icon 2 electronic shift and throttle controls, Evinrude engineers have pushed the throttle forward with new enhancements for this next generation of digitally controlled outboards. To learn more, check out an Evinrude dealer near you. Here's a really good tip on figuring out the fall rate. This is a 7 foot 11 inch rod, so this pull off about 10 feet, okay? That's about 10 feet right there. Now what I'm going to do, this will give me a really good idea. I'm going to count. I'm going to throw it in the water. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. About a seven count for 10 feet. So for every seven seconds, it's going to go 10 feet. So I look out there. Okay, there are some fish out there definitely at between 10 and 15 feet. So cast it out and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 10 feet. Eight, nine, 10, 15 feet. That's about right, right there. About 15 feet and slow, steady reel back. If you reel too fast, you're going to lift your bait up. You want a steady, slow retrieve. Now I know my bait's between 12 and 15 feet deep. I mean, oh, one hitter, one hitter. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Finally. Oh, nice Whoa, one, too. Nice, <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Oh, all right. Nice fish. Sweet, dude. Nice large mouth. Oh yeah, I'm gonna swing him right in. Dude, <laughs> that is a tip right there for you guys. Now look, hit record on your TV, and that was a tip. We're not catching a lot of fish, but that was a really cool tip on how to count your bait. Now, wasn't that cool? Yeah. On cue, sure. on cue, the first nice fish of the day. What do you give me on that one? Two and a half? Two and a half. Two and a half pounds. Hey, we're showing you a lot of great tips today. But I've got one on my sleeve. I don't want to show Scott quite yet. Got him. Got, got him. him. Yeah. Nice. There, I paused it a second. I just let it drop down a little more. Oh, nice fish, smallie. man. Hard. But look at that smallie. <laughs> you see, in this clear water is so clear. Look at him just run around. Nice one. Yeah. Anything's nice today, my friend. Yeah. Now, what did you do? You said you paused it. Stop and go, yeah, I like to just put it down. We've yeah. been seeing a lot of panoptics when you stop the bait, they'll, right. they'll track it down. You know, I talked earlier about just a steady reel, but and I've caught a fish doing the same thing, and just letting it fall on a, kind of like a tight line, just let it fall down and then slowly start reeling again, the fish will bite. Nice. Oh, still smaller. I'm still leading. Smally. Small mouth. Small, smally. <laughs> Man, they nice. are crazy. All right. You know, I bet that's what a lot of these fish are out here in the middle. Our little small mouth and you know, that nice large mouth. Now what I did on that, Tom, is I could see the fish in the pan. So look right here, look right here, Tom. These are fish right there, okay? Real close to the boat. But those are fish right there. See the, see the blobs moving? Mm -hmm. And I saw my bait coming through the water and I was a little above them, I let it sink down and that fish bit. See if we can duplicate that. That's straight in front of you. Just Look at right here, your left. And you broke. You broke. They're breaking right there. Oh, they're busting. I cannot wait to get my hands on that lure, Tom. And when you autograph it, I want you to say, to the best fisherman in the entire universe, that's me. Oh, look, 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 look at this. Look at this. That 
is pretty cool, dude. We just talked about the size of the bait fish in these schools. Check this out, guys. That is the size of the bait fish that these bass are eating on. That is really small. And that is why that live target is so cool. There he is, there he is, there he is. Good one? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Uh, top water. Uh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> He's still not bigger than my other one. Dude, he got that thing sideways, look at that. Man, this stinks. I do not like losing to Scott. I never like losing to him, whether it's one day, any competition. But with this one, he's got old Lucky. He's gonna parade that thing out in front of me all the time, and he's probably gonna pull up next to me, fish Lucky right in my spot next to me, catch more fish. He's gonna rub it in the whole year. Man, this really, really stinks. I'll tell you what though, man, thank you so much for all your help. Tom, appreciate you, man. Yeah. I, 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 I have an idea if you're up for it, Eric. Now, Tom's got a very important appointment tomorrow, his son's birthday, he cannot miss that, super important. How old is he gonna be? Number 10, double digits. Old, that's a big deal. Yeah. If you're available tomorrow, I drove a long ways up here, man. I, I have got a, a vendetta against these fish. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you got anything to do tomorrow, but I'd love to go out on Table Rock right there at Big Cedar, and let's just go out for a few hours more before we blaze out of town yeah. and see if we can't catch a few nice fish. You bet, man. I think we can catch some of them smallmouth on the crankbait. You, really? so, you yeah. ready? Yeah, I'm up All right. for that. All right, you I bet. love it, man. Appreciate awesome. it, dude. All right, let's get it back to the ramp, get this boat on the trailer. But that officially means that I still won the challenge today. Two and a half pounder takes the cake, my friend. <laughs> You're gonna have to sign that bait, and here's what I want you to put on there, that bait when I dig in your tackle box to the best fisherman in the entire world. I'll do it, but then I have to give it to your dad. Joker. <laughs> He's too quick for me, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna be coming back to you tomorrow. I've got redemption on these fish. I'm gonna make it happen. You know, some of the key features that I love about, about my Ranger boat here, in this 520 especially, several things. Number one, the seats. These seats are super comfortable and they sit up at the perfect level. The waterproof switches right here. These are all waterproof electric switches and buttons. Uh, very, very easy, very reliable. You know, this is where I spend a lot of my time standing up. So number one, I need a lot of room up here. I like to have a lot of rods on the deck of my boat. I don't like to be comfortable. I, and so with this Ranger, my Z520, it's a real wide bow. It gives me plenty of room to have all my rod storage up here and move around effectively. Again, we have our water resistance digital switches right here, which is very well organized. Keeps track of your bilge pumps, your live well uh, timers, navigation lights, all those different things. And again, also your trim switches. And with this, you have plenty of room for accessories like the Hydrowave H2. With plenty of room to put that up here and it stays out of the way. I love the front deck of these new Rangers. If you guys are thinking about buying a new boat, you have to consider the Ranger Z520 package. You have to consider putting an Evernude on the back of it. And here's why. The thing drives like a Corvette, but it rides like a Bentley. I'm all about performance. I'm all about getting to that fishing spot first, but also getting there comfortably. And the Ranger and what they've done with this boat and this whole design is the reason I run Ranger. We'll see you guys. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by MPAC. Fish more, snag less. Hendry County Tourism. And by Costa Del Mar. See what's out there. Discover Hydrowave, the marine electronic that ignites a feeding frenzy. Hydrowave's patented electronic sound device emits natural sounds of bait fish, producing an instinctive predatory response. Get the advantage with Hydrowave. Do you want more from the Scott Martin Challenge and have a chance to win some cool prizes or even a free fishing trip? Be sure to jump over to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. And be sure to also check out the Scott Martin Challenge on YouTube. You know, I sure am glad that Eric's able to go out and spend a little time on Table Rock. I need some redemption. All right, dude. Yeah, that's a nice one, man. Redemption! <laughs> that was so cool. How he bit that on the yeah. pause, man. Oh, that's oh, all right. <laughs> one down. We got him. We got him. We needed a net on that one. You know what? That's a good tip, actually. Is I always vary my retrieve. You know, it, it changes every day. Sometimes these fish really want a fast retrieve. They right. want burning. You know what I mean? And right. Sometimes it's a stop and go. But really varying your retrieve. That one, I came off a rock and I literally paused it right. for about a three second count. Yeah. And he just pounded it. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's so. a great tip. Yeah, what we're throwing today are the live target. This is the new Hunt the Center. 
and uh, I, I call it the wiggle wart killer right here. Wiggle warts in the Ozarks are a, a big, big player, and uh, Live Target did a fantastic job uh, making this little crankbait right here. Hunt the center. What hunt, hunt for center means is that this thing has an erratic action, so as it's diving, it'll lose its track just slightly, and it gives it that crayfish look, and that's an awesome little bait. Good job, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Boy, this really looks nice. It's got transition like you're talking about. It has mm -hmm. the nice, you know, tapered banks, pea gravel and chunk rock mixed in, and even some ledge rock back in there. Yeah, this is exactly what we're looking for. There is even some wood in here. And what you can't see is that a lot of this, it looks just like flat gravel with a little bit of bigger rock, but what you don't see is you come out the bank 10 or 12 feet, right. you've got big boulders. Oh, and, nice. and you know how much smallmouth love those big boulders. But it's perfect area for that. Boy, this is really, really pretty right through here. It's amazing how beautiful this place is now that the clouds have burned off. I mean, yesterday, <laughs> we just weren't able to see how pretty these Ozarks are. Oh, man. I mean, look at the colors in here. This lake is beautiful. I mean, Bull Shoals is a beautiful lake. We just didn't get to see it. Right. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was like tropical depression, man. <laughs> Today's all about redemption. We've got a couple hours to pull it off. I want to catch a couple more fish before we get out of here. And boy, what a change in the weather. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, that's the beauty about this, this system right here is you can catch smallmouth, that's a small one, but you can catch spotted bass and largemouth here on Table Rock. He's a cute little puppy. You're, you got me beat so far. You got me beat so far. This is what we call redemption. We got shut out yesterday with the rain. Cut a lot of fish on Bull Shoals. And uh, this place is just truly amazing. I cannot wait to come back and uh, spend some time up here with you, man. Absolutely. It's good to see you again, Scott. Absolutely. Man, Come see thank me again. You. Redemption! <laughs> Redemption! <laughs>